a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on Gonna smoke me a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on I got my natural case I got the hogs on the Barbecue Pit Boys.com. Today we're cooking up some bacon bagel burgers at the pit, and they're real easy to do. All right, let's get started here. We're going to uh, smoke up some bacon or cook up some bacon on the grill. Some of you know how to do this, it's real easy to do. But uh, for those newbies who haven't seen this done before, this is how you can uh, cook up some bacon on your grill. Now, here we're using some pork belly bacon. Some of you uh, probably say, oh, look at all that fat. That's not bacon. Well, this is American-style bacon, or actually it's just not American-style, but this is pork belly bacon. It's far superior than the other stuff you see in the markets. You got to check it out. Now, what you do is we took a pound of it, we cut it in half, and we're going to make a star pattern. It makes it real easy to cook on your grill, all right? Just do it like that. All right, now we're going to place the bacon opposite the hot coals. We've got some aluminum foil underneath to catch some of the grease. It just makes it easier for cleaning up later, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, you can't put it over direct flames. It must be indirect so the bacon cooks slowly, all right? And doing it this way, it'll take maybe um, a half hour, 45 minutes. Depends how hot your grill is. We'll just put the cover on and let it smoke up a bit. All right, about halfway through, we're just gonna flip it, just like that. See how nice they're coming together? The bacon uh, is cut perfect for those sandwiches or those burgers, right? All right, now while we're waiting for the bacon to cook, Let's uh, prepare the burger, all right? And here we've got some ground chuck and we're seasoning it. There's a couple pounds of ground chuck here. And of course you wanna always season the meat. We're using our SPG, use some salt, pepper, or garlic, or whatever your favorite seasoning is for your burgers, all right? All right. Now, if you've never had a bacon bagel burger before, you definitely gotta check it out. Oh, this is some real good eat and your family and friends are gonna love it. Now, we're gonna take the uh, loaf of a burger here, or, or ground beef. We're gonna pound it down and flatten it out fairly thin, just like that. Oh, yeah, see? And then we're gonna take like a cookie cutter, or uh, whatever you have. It could be a jar lid cover or I'm using just a plastic uh, lid here. And we're gonna cut it out like Christmas cookies, right? <laughs> just like that, all right? This adds that cool factor to those burgers, all right? If you're getting sick of the same old burgers week after week, definitely you gotta check this method out, all right? Now, we're gonna place some holes in the middle, all right? So uh, it allows some more even cooking on your grill. Kind of looks like a bagel now, doesn't it? All right. All right, the bacon is done. We'll pull it off the grill. You want to make a bunch of these, I'm telling you. <laughs> They're good. All right. And now we'll place the burgers, again, indirect. Now, you could go direct over the flames if you want, all right? Uh, your burger will cook much faster, but uh, you'll have less control over your heat. So indirect is a good way to do these, just like that. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Put the cover on and let them grill. All right, we're about halfway through, maybe... 10 minutes has gone by, 15 minutes. All right, and we're just gonna flip them for some even cooking. Yeah. 
And we're gonna throw some cheese and use your favorite cheese. Here we're using a pepper jack. It's got some jalapenos in there and some red pepper. Oh yeah, it's good. And we'll cook it until the cheese melts. Now, here's the magic of the recipe. These are bagels, all right? They're called, uh, well, a roll with a hole, I guess, right? And uh, they're great. If you've never had these before, you gotta check them out. They're great for burgers. We're fortunate here at the pit because we can get these fresh daily, all right? But you can also buy them packaged pretty much anywhere. And um, what you wanna do here to use them for the burgers is just uh, slice them in two, just like that, right? Oh man, this is gonna be good. Nothing like a fresh bagel. And we're just gonna butter them up just a bit before we throw them on the grill. We wanna toast them up. We wanna freshen them up. Oh man. Simple enough, right? All right, burgers are coming along. Now let's toast up these bagels. We'll go direct over the flame. Only takes a minute or two. And you may have noticed we have several different kinds of bagels. We've got garlic bagels, onion bagels, sesame bagels, <laughs> bagels with everything on. Oh man, they're good when they're toasted. All right, flip them over, toast the other side just for a second or two. All right, they're done. I say it's time to plate these up. Now we're gonna make some double cheese bacon bagel burgers first, all right? Yeah, oh man. Are you getting hungry or what? And you dress them up the way you want. Here we've got some sweet onion, all right? We've got some tomatoes. And on goes the bacon. Yeah, that's good. And it's a warning. Leave now. Okay, let's do these triple bacon bagel burgers, right? Or triple cheese bacon bagel burgers. Call them what you will. <laughs> Again, toast them up briefly. Telling you, you better make a bunch of these if you're next family picnic, tailgate, whatever. They're easy to do. Now load them up. Let's do some triples. <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby. Right. Oh, man. Can you smell that? It smells good. Now we'll throw some mayo on, maybe. Like I said, you dress them up the way you want, but any way you do it, they're gonna be good. Again, we'll throw on some Vidalia onions, nice sweet hybrid onions. Ooh. Got some garden fresh tomatoes here. Yeah. How about some pickles? And of course, the bacon. Oh, man. There just isn't any more to say about this now, is there? <laughs> Unless you're a Vegematic or a food cop. Take a look at that. Now let me cut one of these right down the middle for you. We always get that request. There it is. Now of course, as always, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this. 
but we call this pitmaster privilege. Yeah.